Hello everyone, this is Roxas159, and welcome back to the Let's Play 358 over two days. Last time we dealt with Leechgrave, one of the most hated bosses in 358 over two days. And off screen, I did a few things. For one, I ended up finding all the Hidden Heartless in Mission 62. As a result, that unlocks you two new missions for Cyax to assign you to, and that's what we're gonna be tackling in this part. I also made a new Keyblade. I forget what the Keyblade is officially called, unfortunately, and I apologize for that, but it is basically better than the Nimble Gear and does nothing but good air combos. So we can prove our endurance or collect hearts now. Now, proving your endurance is pretty difficult because you have to survive for two minutes and you get new gear. Actually, no, it looks like you got a gear component B for that, so that's a tier two Keyblade. The Keyblade we have right now is a tier three because it requires gear component Cs, which we got from the Tentaclaws. But let us prove our endurance. All right, so now we have to survive for two minutes against a bunch of Dusks, and even worse, Later on, a samurai. Samurai nobodies are extremely powerful at this point of the game, and these dusks do a lot of damage, to say the least. So watch out for them, just do what I'm doing and fly away from them, don't try and attack them. This is the new keyblade I'm using, as you can see, it looks pretty cool, actually. And it's gonna be the main keyblade I use for a good majority of the remainder of the game. As you can see, it does the good air combo that um, the, what is it called? The Nimble Gear did, only it does more damage. Less of a combo too, it's not as long. But I mean, this thing is really good. I really wish I could remember its name because I made it off screen and I don't remember it, which is, I'll, I'll figure out its name soon enough because I ended up uh, using this for a good majority of the game. Look at how much health that samurai has. That thing's not meant to be taken out. Okay, Roxas is gonna just keep flying away. Just ignore, just ignore me. Just, just ignore me. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. Rox is gonna keep flying away. At least Rowdy Rumble's playing. We got 17 seconds remaining. I'm getting in a corner, this is bad. Okay, healing. Cause that samurai can take out like all your health bar in like two hits if he wants to. I see I still have air slide, but there we go, mission complete. Take that! So, we got a gear component B and a slot releaser for that. But it looks like we aren't looking for she on that day, I guess. I guess Roxas was just too tired to look for her. So, that deals with that, so now let us move on to our next mission. Now, I don't remember, do I end up taking out three missions inside this episode? So, collecting hearts. We get to team up with Luxord this time in a place that is not Wonderland for once. I know, amazing. Luxord, welcome to Halloween Town. Let us look and open this one chest containing a thunder recipe. So it looks like that was the only one here. Yeah. All right. So let us go and eliminate some heartless. Hello, who are you? Ah, Dual Blade. Two of them, to be precise. Luckily, my Keyblade is more than powerful enough to deal with them. And it looks like Dual Blades are arrow based. Come on, get back. Ouch. Come on, get back here. I'm kind of getting hurt. Ah, I brought garbage Kiraga with me because at the time I didn't know that Kiraga was garbage. I just figured, you know, 
is since it is Kiraga, which is better than Kira in normal games, it must be good. I make this mistake a lot, but I think. Oh, looks like Luck Swords blocking. Oh no, he's actually doing his ultimate special right now. Okay, this is getting bad. Come on, Dual Blade. Let's take you out. There we go. That's one. Oh, look, a rare vendor. Beat it up, 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 beat it up. Got a Frost Gem. And a Gear Component C. Ooh, more Tier 3 Keyblades. So, let's take out this Dual Blade. Got a kill this one for a while. Haha! -ha. Might as well take that out. Up, oh, another one. Up, oh, another one. You can see that you can actually just get the mission complete by just taking out the crawler bugs without having to deal with the dual blades at all. Because dual blades, I guess at this point of the game, are kind of tough. I mean, they do a lot of damage, but my Keyblade's pretty powerful. All right. Come on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Ouch, that hurt. Beat him up, 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 beat him up. All right, this dual blade's just about dead. Oh, he's coming after me. And take him out. There we go. Mission complete. Gear component C. Take out this little guy. Ah, there's one over there. The creep worm. So many creep worms. Oh, look, so it got that one. Creep worms. Worm. Free worm. And there we go. That is a mission complete. But we've got a badge right there. It looks like a Unity badge. So why don't we fly up from Jack's house? Jack does not look like he'd fit inside that door. All right. Let's try this. And Unity badge. There we go. So, mission complete. Let us leave and then start looking for Shion, shall we? First things first, ordeal badge. All right. And time to RTC and then start looking for Shion. So, let's do this. Not Nagraba. That sucks. So, that deals with that. So, looks like we're actually going to be doing three missions in this part. Oh, right. We are doing three missions in this part. I know why. Come on, let me see what that gear is called. Getting rid of garbage Kiraga. Because at this point, I realize it's garbage. Took me more time to... Took me less time to realize it was garbage compared to other things. All right. High potions. I haven't realized the true potential of Kira at this point. Don't worry. The next giant bulk session, which was the last giant bulk session I do, ends up doing it. I also still have air slide on. That's a mistake. Huge mistake. So, Moogly Moogalop, welcome to the Moogle shop. All right, let us buy for 360 points. I could buy 54 high potions, or I could be the smart person and buy 99 regular potions, or 98, and then make them into high potions. That seems like a smarter idea. 
quadcast, huh? And four magic each. That's a pretty good item. You gonna grab that past me? Yes, you are! Good past me! Good, good, you're learning. You're learning. Now, if we could just get you to start using Cura, then we're golden. But, next up, we're gonna be eliminating the deserters. You need to watch out for the deserters in this part. Because the deserters have gotten quite the power boost. And it's not just the fact that the deserters have gotten the power boost. There's an extremely powerful Heartless that shows up now. That we end up taking out. So. Deserter time, but even worse, Barrier Master. So, first things first. Barrier Master need to go bye-bye. Stop going to the corner. I can't get to you. Your book is floating on top of your model. Come on, Axel, we got this. Come on, keep hitting him away from his book. Oh, now we're hitting him towards his book. Or I am. Which is not good. Come on. Good. Oh, dang it, Axel. You hit him right over to his book. Oh, come on. I should have hit him. All right. Ironically enough, I think this is going to be the mission that takes the longest. And it's just eliminating deserters. Uh, Axel, your Fyraga. It's a good idea to use it, but make sure you actually connect with it. There we go. That takes care of the Barrier Master, which means it's time to take out deserters. Two, three, four. Here comes the pain. Look at how much damage they did, ladies and gentlemen. The deserters have come a long way. Thank you, Axel. I needed that. Here comes the pain. And they do a lot of damage. So far, they're going down pretty easily, though. There we go. Warn you about what? So, that takes care of all them, but you're probably wondering, well, Roxas, what about, uh, you know, the rest of this episode when we're dealing with this, uh, threat here? Well, you will see what it is we have to deal with. And how long it takes me to take it out is annoying, which is why I ended up cutting it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Invisible has returned. The Invisible was a Heartless that was only available inside the end of the world inside of the original Kingdom Hearts game, as it is a pure blood. And this thing's powerful. It's extremely powerful, extremely versatile. And that's why I ended up cutting me killing it. You also have to watch out for the sword. So, uh, it has the ability to do level down on you if you're not careful. So, watch out for that. It does that with its orb blocks. It can move like a Neo Shadow and end up taking out things. So, you need to watch out. Magic will heal it. And it does lightning when it's low on health. Invisibles are powerful enemies. And we took one out. What do we get? A gust gem. All that for a goddamn gust gem. So, let's leave. You know, Roxas, why didn't you check Halloween Town when you were, I don't know, at Halloween Town?
darn, she's not in this one spot that I checked in Halloween Town, out of all of Halloween Town. But, there we go. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Maroxis1359. Next time, we're gonna be taking out the heartless threat of Wonderland. So, see you all next time.